Okay, now we're gonna try Vector Invaders. So Z, are you blown away by the uh, high quality, high res graphics here? Wow, it's so realistic. It's like I'm actually there, oh. <laughs> Me the best, 61584. I can't leave Vector Invaders. Is our escape key busted? Maybe our escape key is busted. A-O-Z-N-P. Okay, an exciting game of Snake. Ah! So basically, whatever color you're playing, if you manage to surround, I can't remember exactly. I think if you were able to put, for instance, a piece here at E6, you'll flip white to black. Oh, here we are. So like you could put something at B4 and flip those. Adventure. Is this going to be the Colossal Cave? It is the Colossal Cave. Yeah. No. No! <laughs> I have to shout at it. Standing out of the road before a small brick building where in the forest, a small stream flows out of the gully. Uh, the sun ring to the cemetery points uphill. Go north. Oh. Go north! You are in an open forest, lady. I thought the tomb was cemetery. Okay. We have Sargon. On E. E, E2, E4. There you go. There we go. Jeez. No, no, no. Let's get a status report, then let's self destruct. Status report. Subscript out of range. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Huh. This isn't a very sophisticated Star Trek. Okay, this is a blast from the past. When I was growing up, my father had a Vector 4 system, which is the successor to this Vector 3. And when I was in junior high, I wrote papers and such using MemoWrite. Did you print them out with the printer? We had a what was called a daisy wheel printer. So the output looked pretty good, but it couldn't do graphics. So it was just letters. I think for the Vector 4, it was called MemoWrite 3. Yes! Oh my goodness! Copyright 1980. So Z, this is how your father did word processing when he was like 13 or 12 or something like that. And introduction to the uh, of life. Oh, oh, huh? How do I type? <laughs> Welcome to 1980s word processing. Debase 2. So just for posterity's sake, a uh, boot floppy is the B key. Just in case any of y'all were curious.